Crystal Palace have had a poor start to their Premier League season, sitting 17th in the league. But having just beaten Aston Villa in the League Cup, Palace will look to use that as momentum going forward. Oliver Glasner has been very persistent with playing a certain style of play, but we have come in to replace him for the next 10 seasons with two goals in mind. Crystal Palace have never won the FA Cup or Carabao Cup. Before the 10 seasons are up, winning both the FA Cup and Carabao Cup will be our main goal to complete this rebuild. But we're going to head into Season 1 now, guys. Make sure to leave a like on the video, comment any teams you want me to rebuild in future videos, and subscribe if you're new around here guys and let's kick off this 10 seasons with crystal palace so we're jumping into this rebuild with crystal palace and i will be using the tick attacker tactical preset and we're going to be going with a 5-2-1-2 formation obviously something similar to what crystal palace play in real life we're playing with the three center backs and the two left and right backs so the two central midfielders with the attacking midfielder who is going to be eze and we're going to be playing two strikers as our attacking outlet i really think the tick attacker preset is going to be the best one for this formation the first signing of this 10 seasons with crystal palace is here guys and it's going to be a new striker playing two up top we're going to have to have options off the bench and we don't really have that at crystal palace right now but jonathan david has come in to be our new striker he's been playing up front with mateta really happy with this guy coming in his contract was running out so i thought i'd try and pick him up for cheap we did manage to pick him up for 27 million pounds here is our second signing of this crystal palace rebuild a young center back for the future and because we're playing three at the back cabrassi has come in to be a rotational option for crystal palace in season one at only seven 17 years of age 72 overall i think he's gonna be a good option to have as a rotation because playing three center backs we're gonna to have to have players to be able to come in and play but we've got a lot of fixtures and players aren't gonna be fully fit to play every game i think he's gonna be a really key player to use and develop in the seasons to come so this is how the team is gonna look for season one guys we've got henderson in goal the back line is actually unchanged from what it is in real life at the moment with mitchell munoz as the fullbacks chalaba lacroix and gay as the center backs for us commander's be playing in central midfield with Wharton. Obviously, I know Kamada's more of an attacking option. I'm going to try and convert him to a central midfielder. And I know Wharton, again, is also more of a CDM, but I'm going to convert him to a centre mid as well. Eze in the 10. I think he's going to be a really key player for us in this rebuild. We've got Mateta, who scores a lot of goals normally. And we've added Jonathan David to link up with Mateta and Eze as the second striker. So on paper, this team looks really good. I do like this formation. It's something a bit different than what I normally use. And on the bench, as you can see, guys, we have decided to go with a lot of youth players in the bench obviously i know lama isn't really that young to so ignore him but sanderson this right back from the youth academy 16 years of age and he's gonna be our backup right back for the season Brassi obviously has come in to be our center back cover for the season so we're just gonna dive straight into season one guys and see where crystal palace can finish in the first season hopefully we can just try and compete in the middle of the table and then we can decide where we go from there and see if we can sign anyone else into this team so this is going to be the team guys we're going to see where where Crystal Palace can finish in Season 1 in the Premier League. We've come to the end of Season 1, guys, and Crystal Palace have finished 14th in the Premier League. 11 wins, 8 draws, and 19 losses for the season. We ended up on 41 points. We were a fair distance away from the teams in the relegation zone. Forest, Bournemouth, Ipswich, all getting relegated, guys. For the first season, I'm pretty happy with that. I feel like the squad probably wasn't good enough to be in the top half of the table. Unfortunately, there is no FA Cup run this season because we did lose 3-2 to Arsenal in the third round however we did beat Bradford 2-1 in the second round of the Carabao Cup but then we unfortunately lost to Luton 4-3 on penalties so no cup run for us in either of the trophies that we do need to win in this 10 season rebuild Jonathan David was our top goal scorer for season 1 20 goals and 10 assists for the new striker he's already up to an 83 rated as well which is really good to see Mateta alongside him only 13 goals for him this season Kamaza 10 goals 11 assists from central midfield really happy of that he's up to an 81 now and then a lot of other players just getting in on the goals for us throughout the season we didn't score too many goals in the league season so that's something that we might need to improve on next season if we want to try and climb up the premier league table but for the first season a 14th place finish is not the worst position in the world we're going to go into season two now guys in the hopes to try and climb the premier league table we're going to go out into the transfer market guys and try and sign some new players in the hopes to improve the squad and push us 
us up that Premier League table. We're into season two, guys, and I have decided to sell off a lot of players in this Crystal Palace side. Unfortunately, Ismail Assar just aren't playing wingers in this formation, and he is just not being used. I took the 12.5 million pounds, even though he is a really good, promising player. Unfortunately, he is going to Stuttgart. Lerma, another one for 12.5 million pounds, 30 years old now, wasn't really getting any game time. Decided to sell him as well. Edward come back from his loan. I've sold him off because he's just not going to be used for us. And a few more players have also left for lower transfer fees. Hamada has gone on loan to Augsburg for two years, guys. He isn't getting any game time. He was on loan last season. I thought, you know what? A two-year loan would be good for him because maybe he can try and develop at Augsburg and hopefully come back and be able to be a real asset for us in the future seasons. So we now have £112 million to spend, guys. I've got a few positions that I want to try and improve on. So we're going to be using all of this transfer budget in this season two window. Now Chalabar has gone back to Chelsea from his loan spell. We've had to go out and get ourselves a new centre-back. Vivian has come in to replace Chalabar. We've gone to the Spanish League to get ourselves our new centre-back for Crystal Palace. He is joining from Athletic Club for £26.4 million. I had him on the shortlist for last season, guys, but I went with Cabrassi instead for the younger option. But he has now developed into an 83 overall, and he's only 26 years of age. I think he's going to be a really good addition to go alongside Lacroix and Mark Gahey as well. We have ourselves a new number one goalkeeper, guys. It's Petrovic from Chelsea. He has joined for around £25 million. Pounds. I thought we need to upgrade Henderson, and we have gone out and got ourselves a younger goalkeeper in Petrovic. As you can see, £25 million pounds spent on him, 81 overall. I think he's going to be a really good upgrade to Dean Henderson. Obviously, his stats look really, really good. And for only £25 million pounds spent, guys, I think that is a really good bit of business. We've signed ourselves another new striker, guys. With Edward leaving the club, I thought it would be a good option to go out and get ourselves a new striker to be a backup option. Olinga has come in for £26 million pounds from Bologna. 24 years of age. I think he's going to be a really good player to have as a backup option. I think he's going to be an interesting player to develop in this rebuild with Palace. A different type of player that people probably wouldn't normally sign. I've tried to be a bit different and sign someone that people don't really know anything about. He has come in. He's probably going to be the backup for the first season with us and then into the third and fourth seasons going forward. He will become our number nine. He's probably going to be a backup option for the start of his career at Crystal Palace. I'm hoping to implement him in the seasons to come. And hopefully he can get us some goals and trophies to be able to complete this rebuild. We are at the end of the transfer window for season two, guys. And this will be your team going into the new season. New signing Petrovic goes in goal. Munoz and Mitchell as the fullbacks. Cabrassi, the youngster, comes into the starting 11. Vivian, the new signing, is in the central centre-back role. And Mark Gay is going to be there, the club captain. Kamada and Wharton, still going to keep those two in the central midfield for now. Kamada had a really good season last year. Wharton, still fairly young, hasn't really impressed so far. Eze, really happy with the way he's improved already in the first season. He will be our central attacking midfielder. And Jonathan David will be joined up top with the new signing Dolinga. I was gonna keep him as a I was gonna keep him as a backup option, but I just looked at his stats and his age. I think he could really be a good asset for us in this season. And playing alongside a striker like Jonathan David, I think these two are gonna mix together really, really well. So that's the lineup. I'm really happy with this team slowly starting to build something nicer at Crystal Palace, with the two goals in mind still there winning the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup. But let's see if we can try and compete in those competitions in Season 2. An improvement from Season 1, guys. Crystal Palace have finished 12th in the Premier League table. We finished up on 47 points this season, guys. We were just shy of a top 10 finish. As you can see, there is still a decent gap between us and the top 10. But I am happy with that. That is an improvement from a last season. Getting a few more wins and a few more goals scored for this season. Burnley, Southampton and Hull City did get relegated into the Champions Championship. Man City, Chelsea, Aston Villa and West Ham are your top four with City winning the league by 98 points. Wow. West Ham, Villa, Chelsea and City are your top four. Man City winning the league on 98 points this season. We beat Coventry in the third round of the FA Cup to progress into the next round. We unfortunately then lost to Bournemouth 3-2 at home, which sees us get knocked out of the FA Cup in the fourth round. Unfortunately, guys, no Carabao Cup run this season either as Portsmouth beat us 2-0 in the second round, which means 
means we do not win any of the trophies that we do need to complete this rebuild again in season two. Jonathan David was once again our top goal scorer this season with 30 goals and six assists. He's now up to an 85 rated. He is really improving each season that we've had him. A really promising pickup for us so far. Eze now up to an 83, seven goals and four assists for him. Dolinga, the new signing, up to an 80 rated, five goals and two assists in his first season with us. Only playing 11 games, which means he was rotated quite a lot between him and Matata, I'm guessing. So overall, once again, Jonathan David being the main man for us. A lot of the squad players don't really do much around the team in terms of like Eze doesn't really do much for us and the central midfielders. I think the first position I'm going to be improving next season is going to be a new central midfielder or potentially two. But that being said, it's time to go into the transfer window for season two. I really do think if we can make a couple of signings, we'll be pushing into that top 10 of the Premier League. We also need to try and think about having a cup run as we go into season three because we need to have the Carabao Cup and FA Cup one before the 10 seasons is up. But let's dive into season three now, guys. Reese James was the first player we signed in season three, guys. £30 million spent from PSG. We did send Munoz to PSG as well. So we exchanged a player and we sent £30 million to PSG as well. Reese James is four years younger. Munoz is now 31. I didn't really think he was that good for us. So I've gone out and got Reese James, who is a really, really solid player in real life as well. And he's only 26 years of age in this current Palace save. So I've gone out and got him as our new right back. And I did mention that I wanted to get a new central midfielder. And Giovanni Fabian is the player that we are going, that we have brought in to play in central midfield. I'm not sure yet if he's going to be playing alongside Kamada or Asim Wharton. I haven't decided who's going to drop to the bench, but he has come in £26 million spent. He will be starting in central midfield for this season. I just haven't decided who he's going to be playing alongside just yet. So I have picked out the team for season three. Obviously, Rhys James and Fabian are the two replacements into this side. Everyone else stays the same. I dropped Kamada to the bench. It was a tough one, him or Wharton. But I feel like Wharton is a bit younger and he's going to develop much better. Rhys James obviously slots straight into right back because we only have youngsters, the backup options. As for everyone else, the team is starting to look pretty good. Jonathan David, the standout player at the moment in this rebuild. Can he continue his form and hopefully try and get us into a cup run this season? A top 10 finish for Crystal Palace in season three as we finish 10th in the league. We are improving each season, which is really good to see, which means the team is developing really well. 59 points. We we're just shy of ninth place. Obviously, goal difference being the key factor for Brighton. We could have definitely finished seventh place this season and secured a European spot, but it's just unfortunate. A couple of points out for Crystal Palace this season. Blackburn, Luton and Leicester have all been relegated to the championship in season three. Man City, West Ham, Liverpool and Arsenal make up the top four and Arsenal did win the league this season. We've been knocked out by Oxford City in the third round of the FA Cup this season, guys. So once again, no FA Cup run in season three. We managed to beat Sunderland 5-4 on penalties after a one-all draw in the second round of the Carabao Cup. We then beat Sheffield United 4-1 away from home to progress into the fourth round of the Carabao Cup. And then we beat Arsenal 3-0 away from home to reach the quarterfinals. We then just beat Newcastle 3-2 away from home once again to progress into the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. We absolutely smashed Fulham 7-0 on aggregate, which means we're in our first cup final of this Palace rebuild. We will be facing Man United after they beat Liverpool 3-2 on aggregate. And we've only gone and done it, guys. Would you look at that? A 4-4 draw in normal time, which means we did win 3-1 on penalties to lift the Carabao Cup in Season 3. First trophy of this Crystal Palace 10 seasons, and it is one of the trophies that we did need to win to complete the rebuild. We're only chasing the FA Cup now. An early positive start for this Crystal Palace rebuild. Carabao Cup has been ticked off. We actually dominated the tournament quite a lot. A lot of goals scored throughout this the whole competition this season, and I'm really happy with that. Dorlinger is the top goal scorer for us. He has overtaken Jonathan David for this this season 24 goals for us this season 82 overall now he's starting to really develop into a nice looking player like i said when we signed him he's someone that most people probably wouldn't go for in a normal career mode but i'm trying to mix up the signings and not just sign the best players or the best wonder kids every time I'm trying to use different players each rebuild i do jonathan david up to an 88 overall now 22 goals 16 assists sa 84 overall 12 goals 8 assists for him fabian in his first season is up to an 82 7 goals and 9 assists from central midfield which i'm really happy with Amada also so still getting a couple of goals here and there and then a couple of other players just getting goals here and there again not really anyone to shout out about but overall we have definitely improved this season i think if we can try and sign a couple more players we can definitely push on into the european places in the premier league but having said that we did win the carabao cup which means we do get a european position in season four we're gonna have to go out and get some new players to sign because we will have european football at crystal palace renato vega is our first signing of season 
2004 guys the new left back has joined from Chelsea 25 million pounds spent on him and I just think it's time to replace Tyreek Mitchell he's now 30 years old and he hasn't really been improving that much and Vega's 23 years of age 25 million pound spent on him and I think he's gonna be a really good replacement for Tyreek Mitchell after the new signing of Vega I have gone out and sold Mateta and Kamada we have now raised up to about 75 million pounds in the transfer budget and I'm gonna go out and get ourselves a new central midfielder play alongside Fabian Adam Morton is just gonna be a squad player rotational option I'm just not really enjoying him I don't think he's improving as much as the likes of Fabian is or Eze for example so we've got 75 million pounds to spend hopefully I can try and find someone that will come in and be a really good asset to us in the midfield we have gone out and got ourselves our new central midfielder and it's someone that used to play for Crystal Palace before we took over as the new manager Conor Gallagher has joined from Atletico Madrid for 70 million pounds it is a big transfer fee for the 86 rated player 27 years of age when you look at his stats he looks very very well rounded and he's been smashing it over in Spain in this rebuild so far and we're going to bring him in to play in the midfield with Fabian he's going to be a great workhorse in the midfield and someone that we're going to rely on if we want to try and win our first FA Cup trophy of this rebuild so season four is here the transfer window is closed and this will be your lineup for the upcoming season Vega comes in at left back to replace Mitchell who drops to the bench and Gallagher has come in to play in central midfield alongside Fabian as Adam Wharton has dropped to the bench now I'm really happy with this team now it's starting to really develop as you can tell by Eze 84 overall James is an 85 even the youngster Cabrassi is now up to a 75 Vivian 85 as well Jonathan David is an 88 overall with Dorlinga as an 83 those two up front have been really really good for us so far we've now won our first Carabao Cup which still chasing that FA Cup trophy and we also now have a European run to go through hopefully we can perform in all of those competitions this season and try and push ourselves into a European spot in the Premier League we want to continue in European football but the main goal is still to try and win the FA Cup hopefully we can do that in season four so let's get in to season four would you look at that guys Crystal Palace have finished fifth in the Premier League what an absolutely insane achievement we've gone from 10th to 5th we've gone up five places in the league we have really improved ourselves from last season and that will give us Europa League football next season which is really really good as we're trying to progress each season and we've done so once again the top four Chelsea Arsenal Man United and Aston Villa who have won the league we just missed out on top four by a couple of points but I'm really happy with fifth place nonetheless Southampton Coventry and Nottingham Forest are the teams that are getting relegated in season four unfortunately no FA Cup run once again losing three one to Sheffield United in the third round and then we also got knocked out in the second round of the Carabao Cup Reading beat us 4-3 on penalties after a 2-2 draw now we did manage to get into the Conference League after winning the Carabao Cup last season and we finished fifth place in the league phase which does mean we go straight for the round of 16 we beat Bassa Kasser 4-0 on the second leg which means we do go through to the quarterfinals of the Conference League after winning 5-1 on aggregate we then smashed SC20 7-1 on aggregate which means we do go into the semi-finals a whole load of other teams qualifying as well Los Galil, Fiorentina and Mould we faced Lille and we also battered them 6-1 progress to the final of the Conference League and Fiorentina will be facing us after they won 5-1 against Mould and we've only gone and done it guys the Conference League is Crystal Palace we've only gone and done it guys we have won the Conference League in season four the first European trophy that we have managed to win and actually played in so it's a massive achievement for us Fiorentina aren't a bad side and a 3-2 victory to win the Conference League is a great result for us that is now our second trophy so far in this 10 seasons with Palace and I'm really buzzing of that Jonathan Day David is a 90 overall striker for us now at age 28 really happy of that 32 goals for him this season 15 in the league 15 in the conference league Dolinga 85 overall now 29 goals this season 18 goals in the Premier League which is really good as a 85 overall now I think I might look to improve on Eze next season. Fabian also from central midfield getting 13 goals and 8 assists. Gallagher 5 goals 4 assists on his return to Crystal Palace. So it's another really really good season guys. We've improved once again and we've also won our first European trophy of this rebuild. The Conference League. But we are still chasing that FA Cup trophy. And hopefully in next season we can try and compete a bit more. Because we're still getting knocked out in the earlier rounds. So I'm going to go out and sign some new players. And we're going to dive in to season 5. We're starting off season 5 of a massive a central attacking midfielder Sudakov has joined from Leverkusen the new central attacking midfielder has joined for 91 million pounds the biggest money we've spent on one player so far in this Crystal Palace rebuild I did mention that 
I was going to think about replacing Eze, and I have done so with Sudikov. I was scouting around in the transfer window, and he looked like a really, really good player to come in and replace Eze, who is declining a little bit and not really going to improve as much. 25-year-old goes straight into the team, as you can see, guys. And that actually is going to be our transfer budget for this Season 5 window. I am happy enough to spend it on one player who is going to improve the team massively. Sudikov will be coming in to the central attack and midfield role, just in front of Gallagher and Fabian. Jonathan David, Dolinga still up top. Those two are really coming together as a partnership and I'm really happy with them. And the back line is staying the same as it was last season. Everyone seems to be improving a lot, guys. So I won't be making any changes to the back line at all. But this will be the team for Season 5. We're ready to try and compete again in the top four of the Premier League. We now have Europa League football. After last season's conference win, can we try and get the Europa League this season? Season 5 is over guys and as you can see Crystal Palace once again finished 5th in the Premier League. It was close between us and Liverpool but we managed to just edge it past them to finish 5th which means we will be getting Europa League football once again next season which honestly I'm not too fussed about. I think it's a really good position to be in. It's showing that we're being a bit more consistent with where we're finishing and we're still just shy of the top 4 for now. Brighton, Chelsea, Man City and Arsenal were your top 4 and Arsenal won the league this season. Leicester, Sunderland and Leeds did get relegated to the championship this season. Unfortunately, we got knocked out in the FA Cup third round by Northampton, one of the lower league teams, which is a really disappointing result. Man City did end up beating Liverpool 3-2 to win the FA Cup. We beat Doncaster 4-1 in the third round of the Carabao Cup. We then beat Cardiff 3-0 away from home. We beat United 5-4 on penalties after a 1-1 draw. And unfortunately, guys, after a 3 all aggregate against Arsenal, they did beat us 4-1 on penalties to get to the final, which Chelsea did end up winning this season. A top three finish in our first season in Europa League football, which is a really good start in this Europa League campaign, which means we do go into the knockouts straight away without going in the playoff phase. We edge past Olympic Lyon 5-3 on aggregate, and then we just about beat Girona 3-2 on aggregate to progress to the semi-finals, and we fell short losing 5-3 on aggregate to Salzburg. They faced Lazio who beat City 6-2 on aggregate, and Salzburg actually ended up winning the Europa League this season. Jonathan David was our top goal scorer once again with 39 goals and 11 assists or the 29 year old 90 overall now and he has turned into one of the best players in this career mode save and i'm really happy that we have got him dolinga still getting in on the goals 19 goals and nine assists for him he's up to an 87 rated player i've really enjoyed using him so far he's been someone that again not many people would go for and he's really surprised me Eze still getting a lot of goals 15 goals five assists and everyone else just chipping away and adding in a few goals here and there which is good to see so overall i am really happy with this squad as you can see a lot of the overalls of these players are getting into the high 80s which really shows that they are growing and progressing each season we're now going into our sixth season and hopefully we can try and compete in the europa league we just fell short of the final this season and we didn't have a really good fa cup run once again that's something i want to improve on in season six we are starting off with a centre-back signing in Season 6, guys. I felt like we needed to upgrade on Cabrassi. He's still only young, but I am going to move on from him and make him a rotational option. As we see, Levi Cole will join the club. He will be playing as part of the back three as the left-sided centre-back. A really good player and a highly promising player in real life. He joins from Sociedad for £51.5 million. Martinez has joined from Tottenham for £53.2 million. He will be our new right back. As Reese James, I feel like he is a really good player, but his stamina is very, very poor. He's always out of energy, and I feel like we didn't really have a backup option for him. So Martinez has come in to be a backup option for Reese James. I will probably start with James for the season, but going forward after probably next season, Martinez will be the new right back for Crystal Palace. So Levi Colwell comes into that left centre back spot. Mark Gay goes on the right, and Vivian is still the central centre-back with James and Vega still as the full-backs, Gallagher, Fabian in the midfield, Sudikov in the central attacking midfield role, Jonathan David up top with Dolinga. Those two have really, really impressed me throughout this rebuild. That is the squad for season six. I think with the addition of Colwell and Martinez as the backup, it gives us a really good position to have a really good overall squad. But we're just going to go straight into season six, guys. We're still in the Europa League this season. Hopefully, we can try and improve on that semi-final finish from last year. And I really want to try and push into the top four to try and qualify for the Champions League as well. We also have the main goal of winning the FA Cup. Hopefully this season we can try and get into the latter stages of that tournament, which is one of the main goals I want for this rebuild. Without further ado, guys, we're going to go into Season 6 now and see where we finish in the Premier League. We are now at the end of Season 6, guys, and Crystal Palace have finished 6th in the Premier League. We've dropped 
down one place from last season's finish. It was a very, very close one in terms of the league positions. We just about beat Newcastle to sixth place on goal difference. We are really unlucky not to get fifth place again because Arsenal were just above us by one point. Top four this season, Liverpool, Man City, Everton and Chelsea ended up winning the league this season. Southampton, Hull City and Nottingham Forest all got relegated to the championship. We started our FA Cup campaign against Millwall at home and we won 3-1. We then beat Ipswich away 2-0 to progress to the fifth round which we then smashed West Ham 3-1 which we then smashed West Ham 5-1 at home to progress into the quarterfinals. We absolutely battered Fulham away from home 4-1. We just about edged Arsenal to win in the semi-finals and we faced Man City in the final of the FA Cup. And we've only gone and done it guys. We have won the FA Cup 3-2 against Manchester City which means Crystal Palace have finally won the FA Cup. We've ticked off the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup already in this Crystal Palace rebuild. The two trophies that we did want to get at the start of the season. The two trophies we did want to get at the start of season one. We have now got both of them, which is really good. And Crystal Palace can now claim the FA Cup. A couple more seasons to go. And we really want to try and get ourselves a Premier League title or a European trophy to finish off this rebuild. We finished in the top 10 in the Europa League league phase, which means we do skip the playoff phase once again and we go straight into the round of 16. And unfortunately, guys, we got knocked out by Real Sociedad 3-2 on aggregate after a one-all draw in the second leg. But no Europa League for us this season. Wolfsburg actually ended up beating Liverpool 3-2 to win the Europa League this season. Jonathan David, once again, our top goal scorer. This season, he got 43 goals and 17 assists. He's up to a 91 overall now. He's developing really, really well in his prime years now, and he's still smashing in so many goals. Dorlinga's up to a 90 overall, the 29-year-old, getting 29 goals this season. Once again, he's just surprising me every season. He's consistent with the goals, and he's been improving every single season. A lot of our other players getting a lot of goals here. Eze is really turning into a nice player. 13 goals and a 14 assists for him. Fabian with 10 goals from central midfield. Gallagher getting a few goals as well. And everyone else just chipping away like they normally do throughout the seasons. So we have finally won the FA Cup in our sixth season with Crystal Palace, which is really, really good. It ticks off the last trophy that we needed to guarantee complete this rebuild. So now I'm only chasing a Premier League title. And I would love to get a European trophy before the 10 seasons are up. We're going into season seven now. And I think we need to improve a couple of areas. I'm thinking about the goalkeeper, maybe the left back and another central midfielder, to be honest, as I don't think we have much squad depth in the central midfield role. So I'm going to go out and do some scouting and hopefully try and find some new players to add to this squad if we want to try and get ourselves a Premier League title. We're kicking off season seven, guys, with a few players leaving the club. Mitchell has gone to Arsenal for £21 million. Henderson has gone to Sevilla for £7 million, And Eze has gone to Chelsea for £115 million. 32-year-old now, I feel like it was time to let him go and for 120 million i think it was too much of an offer to reject we now have over 200 million pounds to spend and i'm going to try and improve a few positions in and i'm going to try and improve a few positions in the squad we have got ourselves a new goalkeeper guys i did say that i was going to look in i did say i was going to look at trying to get ourselves a new goalkeeper for the season chevalier has joined from west ham the new number one goalkeeper at palace a favorite in career mode a very very good goalkeeper he's joined for 60 million pounds and i'm really happy that he has come in 28 years of age 87 overall he will be replacing Petrovic this season we have made a massive signing guys it's going to be a new left back and I have spent a lot of money on this guy Hato has come from Lazio for 100 million pounds now I know it's a lot of money for a left back but he's 24 years of age 89 overall he will be replacing Vega and Vega will be becoming the backup option I just couldn't refuse this guy I mean I scouted him for a couple of seasons now and he's developed into such a good player and I feel like we needed to improve on Vega who unfortunately he just hasn't really done anything for us and he hasn't been growing in the ratings at all we've got ourselves a new central midfielder guys we have done a swap deal with fabian and our new central midfielder comes in to replace him as he goes the other way but i mean has come in from bournemouth for 30 million plus fabian felt like it was time to move on from fabian he's been a great servant to the club if we want to try and get ourselves in the top four and challenging for the title and also trying to get ourselves qualified in the champions league we just have to upgrade on players that just aren't doing as well as they should be but for me comes in eight over in central midfield him and Gallagher are gonna be a really good partnership I can already feel it so this is what your season 17 is gonna be looking like guys and I'm really happy with the way this team is turning out Jonathan David and Dolinga 91 and 90 rated respectively these two have been absolutely insane for us as a strike partnership I've really really enjoyed using them so far in this palace rebuild new signing Hato comes in at left back Chevalier comes in and goal and Fermin comes in to central midfield to play alongside Gallagher Sudakov obviously comes in now as he's taken Eze's place as he has left the club Overall, 
overall, this team is looking really good. And I think it's time to finally challenge for that Premier League title. Would you look at that, guys? The end of Season 7 and we have won the Premier League title. We've absolutely smashed the competition this season. We finished on 85 points. 15 points clear of Brighton in second. I'm absolutely buzzing. We have finally won the Premier League title. Seven seasons in the making. And Crystal Palace are now champions of England. We unfortunately lost to Chelsea in the Community Shield earlier in the season. 3-2. We beat Ipswich 3-0 away from home in the FA Cup third round. Into the fourth round and we just beat Spurs away from home 3-2. We then beat Villa 3-1 at home to progress into the quarterfinals. We then beat Swansea 2-1 away from home. And unfortunately guys, Leicester City did beat us 3-2 and they will face Brighton in the final. And Brighton did end up winning the FA Cup this season. We started our Carabao Cup campaign against Newcastle and we won 2-1. We then beat Brighton 1-0 away from home. We beat Hull City 3-2 in the quarterfinals. And unfortunately guys, 6-4 an aggregate loss to Chelsea who ended up losing 2-0 to Arsenal in the final. Our third season in the Europa League saw us get only 20th in the league phase which means we will be going into the playoff rounds. We absolutely breezed past the playoffs winning 6-1 on aggregate. We then just about beat Besiktas 4-3 on aggregate to progress into the quarterfinals which saw us win 4-2 on aggregate to progress into the semi-finals. We then beat Nice 3-1 on aggregate after a 2-0 second leg victory which means we will face Arsenal in the final of the Europa League. And we've only gone and done it guys. 2-1 winners against Arsenal in the Europa League final. We have now ticked off the second European trophy in this rebuild. So that means we've now won the Carabao Cup, FA Cup, Conference League, Europa League and the Premier League. Five trophies to our name already and I'm absolutely buzzing with that. What a season it has been for Crystal Palace. Just looking at the stats for the end of the season, Jonathan David once again getting a lot of goals. 44 goals. He's now up to a 92 overall. The Linga up to a 90. 29 goals, 10 assists for him. These two up front for us have been really, really good. One of my favourite partnerships in FC25 so far. Gallagher still getting a lot of goals and assists from central midfield. Sudikov getting a few goals, 13 goals, 7 assists in his first season starting for us. And a lot of other players just getting goals here and there. But what a season it has been for Crystal Palace. We won the Premier League and we won the Europa League as well. This now means we are into the Champions League. In our 8th season, we have finally reached the Champions League. So I'm really happy with that. And I hope we can try and compete in it in the next 2 seasons. Before we do end this 10 season rebuild. I feel like now we're in the Champions League. We've probably got a couple of positions we need to upgrade and have a bit more squad depth. We want to try and retain our Premier League title. But I'm going to go into the transfer market once again and see if we can pick up any new players. Season 8 is here guys. And we've gone out and got ourselves a new central midfield. Fielder, Lewis Miley has joined from Man City for £77.5 million. I decided to go out and get him as a replacement for Gallagher, who is now 31, and I think Lewis Miley is going to come in and replace him next season. But I wanted to secure him now and make sure that he is here as a Crystal Palace player. For season 8, the team will be unchanged, guys. Lewis Miley does come in and he will be on the bench for this season. As you can see, Conor Gallagher is 88 overall, 31 years of age in his prime years. I'll be using Miley for the last two seasons. I think the team is very, very good right now. We just won the Premier League. I don't really want to change anything right now. But we're literally just going to get straight into Season 8. Try and retain our Premier League title. We are now in the Champions League for the first time in this rebuild. But I'd love to just try and compete. And I think this squad is good enough to do that. But we will find out if we can do so. Hopefully we can try and add another trophy to the collection. Which has already turned into a massive trophy collection. Back to back league titles for Crystal Palace. As we finish top of the Premier League in Season 8. 83 points. Another absolutely incredible season for Crystal Palace. I'm really happy with this team and how it's come along because look at that 25 wins 8 draws 5 losses and we were so far ahead from Liverpool in second Brighton actually beat us 10-9 on penalties in the Community Shield so we haven't actually won the Community Shield just yet we beat Newcastle 2-0 in the third round of the FA Cup we then beat Middlesbrough 3-1 on penalties after a 2-2 draw then we beat Leicester 2-1 at home in the fifth round we just about beat Man United 2-1 to go into the semi-finals of the FA Cup just about beat Blackburn Rovers 4-3 on penalties after one all draw and we will face Everton in the final and we've only gone and done it guys we have won the FA Cup once again the second time in this rebuild so that means we've won the Premier League and the FA Cup in season 8 a cup double a great achievement for the Palace boys we started off our Carabao Cup run beating Arsenal 2-1 in the third round we then beat Southampton 3-0 away from home and then we smashed Swansea 4-0 in the quarterfinals and unfortunately we just about lost out 4-2 on aggregate to Newcastle United who ended up losing to Liverpool 1-0 in the final now it's time for the all important one Crystal Palace finished ninth in the league phase of the Champions League which means we do go into the round of 16 which means we will be in the playoff phase in the first season in the Champions League we then beat Lyon 5-2 on aggregate which means we go into the round of 16 we then beat PSG 5-3 on aggregate 
after a 3 2 away victory in the second leg. And we just about beat Villarreal 5 4 on aggregate, which means we're in the semi finals of the Champions League. And we've only got to make it to the final, guys. We beat Juventus 4 1 on aggregate, and we will face Man City in the final. I can't believe it, guys. In our first season in the Champions League, we have gone and won the trophy. We have won the treble in season eight. We've won the Premier League, the FA Cup, and now the Champions League. What an absolutely insane season for Crystal Palace. Going over the stats of the season, Jonathan David with 45 goals this season. He is literally in his prime years and he is getting so many goals for us. He's absolutely dominated the past couple of seasons for us and I'm really, really happy with him. Dorlinga, 91 overall now. He scored 27 goals. These two up top have been honestly the best duo I've had in FC25 so far. Lewis Miley in his debut season with us, 17 goals and 7 assists as well. Now up to an 88 overall, 12 goals for him. Our centre-back Vivian actually getting 11 goals this season. That is crazy. So overall, I am absolutely buzzing. The Premier League title back-to-back. -back, the FA Cup for the second time and the Champions League on our debut season in the competition. Now, we've only got two more seasons left, guys, and we're slowly coming towards the end of the rebuild, but we do have two more seasons to go. I'm probably going to try and sign maybe one or two players to add to this team already, but realistically, we don't really need that many improvements. I have just made one of the best signings I think I've ever done in FC25 career mode. Verstraty is coming from Newcastle for £164.8 million. He is 91 overall, 24 years of age, and he looks absolutely insane. Look at those stats 91 pace 90 passing 91 dribbling and he's gonna be coming into this central midfield role probably gonna be playing alongside Gallagher for this season and then after next season Gallagher is probably gonna drop to the bench as he's getting a bit older now but for straight he comes in 91 overall I am so excited to use this guy I tried to sign him last season but I didn't have enough money but now we have done it for 164.8 million pounds the straight he comes straight into the team 91 overall look at this team guys he's the only change I'm gonna be making to this save and we're just gonna dive straight into season nine because we don't really need to make any more changes we've just won the league back to back we've just won the Champions League and FA Cup we're gonna try and replicate that in this season and we're only two more seasons away until we finish this Crystal Palace rebuild. Once again, guys, Crystal Palace are the Premier League champions. Three seasons in a row, we have won the Premier League title. It's a great achievement once again, but this season was a bit closer as Man City were just shy of us. But nevertheless, we have done it once again. The third Premier League in a row, I just can't believe it. Third time lucky and we've finally won a Community Shield. We beat Liverpool 4-1 on penalties. We beat Burton 2-0 at home in the third round of the FA Cup. We then beat Ipswich 3-1 away from home. We beat Brighton 2-1 to reach the quarter finals then we just about beat Norwich 3-2 semi-final time we beat Coventry 2-1 which means we'll play Villa in the final and unfortunately guys Villa did beat us 4-3 in the final of the FA Cup this season Crystal Palace did beat Cardiff 3-1 in the third round of the Carabao Cup then we beat Bradford City 4-1 to reach the quarters beating Everton 2-1 semi-finals we won 3-0 on aggregate against Man United we will face Leeds in the final and unfortunately we lost another cup final this season we lost 3-1 to Leeds we finished first in the league phase of the Champions Champions League this season that's a really really good start and unfortunately guys we got knocked out by Leipzig 5-4 on aggregate which means we crash out of the Champions League PSG did end up winning 3-1 against Sevilla to lift the Champions League this season Jonathan David once again getting a lot of goals for us this season he is starting to decline in the ratings so I think next season unfortunately he will be dropping to the bench or we might have to sell him Bolinga 37 goals this season he is also just staying at 90 rated now Sudakov has finally progressed for us 22 goals and 26 assists he's had a really 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 good season one of the best he's had in the Crystal Palace shirt and that'll be it for season nine we go into the last season now guys looking to win the Premier League four times in a row and can we try and get ourselves a Champions League as well let's find out in season 10 the season 10 transfer window has come to an end guys and as you can see we have been very very busy in our last season Marquez has joined from West Ham for 100 million pounds he is going to be a new striker for us his new partner is going to be Sesco unfortunately Jonathan David declining in the ratings I have sent him to Liverpool and Sesco has joined Crystal Palace. He then sold Reese James for 28 million. He was declining in the ratings very, very quickly. We replaced him with Bakker, and Renato Vega has gone to Bayern Munich as well. And Jonathan Kraft has come in from Chelsea, 60 million plus Vivian, our centre back, who unfortunately was also like Jonathan David, declining in the ratings, and we just had to sell. These players have come in. Unfortunately, we've had to lose a couple of the key players in the squads. Unfortunately, they're just declining in the ratings, and I want to try and win as many trophies 
in this last season i need the best players around me but going into season 10 the final season this will be your team backer comes in to play at left back craft comes in at center half marquez and sesco come up front as well we also have people on the bench like delinga gallagher and miley as well this team surely is going to be able to keep our premier league champion status and hopefully we can try and get ourselves in another champions league run the season 10 is here the finale season let's see how we can get on and hopefully we can try and win as many trophies as we can at the end of season 10 guys and palace won the community shield this season to make it the second time we have won it in this rebuild we beat tramia 2-0 in the third round of the carabao cup we then beat arsenal 6-5 on penalties and then we unfortunately lost to man city 1-0 in the quarterfinals they ended up winning the whole tournament beating brighton 3-0 an upset in the fa cup third round as we lost 2-1 to salford man city ended up winning that one as well we finished ninth in the league phase which means we do go into the playoff phase we finished ninth in the league phase of the champions league which means we go into the playoff phase we then beat nice 4-1 to progress into the round of 16 and unfortunately guys milan did beat us 6-4 on aggregate which means we crash out of the champions league in season 10 juventus beat man united 4-2 on penalties to win the champions league and unfortunately guys we fell short two points away from man city for the premier league title no trophy in the final season of this crystal palace rebuild which is really really unfortunate guys we have been so successful in this 10 seasons we've won the carabao cup the fa cup twice conference league champions league and the premier league four times absolutely insane achievement we're gonna go over the stats for the end of the season and marquez the new signing 42 goals five assists for him he had a really really good season sesco with 12 goals miley with 11 Estrete with 10 goals and 12 assists he was actually a really really good player i wish i signed him earlier but we could get more seasons out of him but he was really really good dolinga still getting nine goals six assists for us as you can see he's declined quite a lot in this season so this will conclude the crystal palace 10 season takeover what an absolutely insane rebuild this was i had so much fun i hope you guys did as well we won a lot of trophies we won all the trophies on offer and the two standout ones for me were winning the fa cup and carabao cup for the first time in crystal palace's history thank you guys for watching make sure to leave a like on the video comment any teams you want me to rebuild in future videos and subscribe if you're new around here guys and i'm out peace